I found this account through a tweet that someone liked that was on my notification page. As I read the thread, most of which was by people debunking and responding to this person, I thought this would be great for the flurf kiss. So here we are, and here we go. Warning! Warning! Of admits required beyond this point. Now entering stupidity zone. Warning! Warning! Globers pretend the shadow can be smaller than the object. They love crisscross sun rays on their fake CGI ball Earth model. Fun fact, moon is not a physical object. It's a light in the sky that disappears once per month. New moon is when there is no moon present in existence. And shocker, an image of the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse. FYI, I've been on this person's account. They love their memes. Enough said. Holy hell, man. Are flat earthers just getting dumber as time goes by or what? The hell are you lot doing, man? Constantly rehashing already debunked nonsense. Heck, even the regular flurfs are starting to feel embarrassed by your Twitter flurfs. Okay, hands up. Who else heard Radical's voice while reading that? See that shaded part labeled partial that's larger than the moon? That's the shadow. One, shadows can be smaller than the object if the light source is bigger than said object. Two, the moon is a physical object. Three, the moon is still there during new moon. In fact, it's the best time to observe Earth shine, which demonstrably debunks this notion that it's a light. Prove the moon is there during next new moon with a camera. Of course, the prove it to me argument. Look up Earth shine on moon and you'll see plenty of proof. How about the solar eclipse of 27 August 2017? I could nitpick and say the date is wrong, but that's okay. This is just proof and I'll let it go. And of course, Wade put a tweet in with lol with the same picture of the solar eclipse. Love it. Holy crap. That's an awesome image. Where did you find it? It's amazing. Just on Google. There is a higher res version out there somewhere. I remember it from a couple of years ago, shown to a flat one using the same ridiculous argument. Doesn't that idiot OP look like Nini? I hope I pronounced that right. May or may not have. Lol, I just had a better look. Definitely looks like Nini. The moon is a great big rock in the sky, dude. Yep, only a complete imbecile would ascertain otherwise. Photos by me. Those are great pictures of something that is supposedly a light. There are dark areas and light areas and craters and shadows. Wow, that's some sophisticated light. He is trolling y'all. He does not believe this stuff. I recommend muting. Oh, but that's no fun. I mean, it's better just to have some fun with these trolls and see where it goes. Ooh, I found a picture. Now, how can that little ball, the moon, be bigger than that big ball, the sun? Works perfect for the solar eclipse. And if the moon is not physical, it doesn't have mass, right? Where do the tides come from on Earth? And where is that switch that turns off the light? The firmament. The obvious thing above all our heads that Globers just can't seem to understand. Laugh emoji. Oh look, there's their evidence. A picture with Bible verses on it. Yeah, I'm convinced, aren't you? Until you put a rocket through your CGI. Not sure what word they meant there, but I'm guessing. And then, of course, a video with an actual rocket launch and separation up in orbit. Nice. Rocket hits dome and that hug emoji again. They seem to love using that at the end of every tweet.
Oh my God, this video is like the black swan. They do not let it go. This go fast video has been debunked over and over again, even by the man who made the rocket. Flat Earthers, please get a new shtick. This one broke. I will admit the footage is real, but your analysis is wrong. The propellant ran out making that sound. Just like this one on my footage, both are real. It is not a fact that the moon is a light in the sky that periodically gets turned off. Grow up. That diagram, like virtually all such diagrams, is not to scale. The sun is much larger and much further away from the Earth-Moon system, and the moon isn't that close to the Earth. Drawing it to scale on a smartphone screen isn't possible. I'm guessing this person's referring to the original post with the um, sun, the moon, all the crisscrossing the shadows and stuff. Tell me, you flat Earth numpty, is this a light? And more beautiful photos of the moon with shadows and craters and light and dark spots. Hmm, funny that. Another fan of the hashtag Flat Earth Fiction fan club. And there's a response with a meme of a man putting his fingers together saying, there's a little something missing. Evidence. I would suggest neurons. Then the little is misleading. This next one was a GIF, and I did a screenshot of it because um, I could not screen capture the whole thing. But it looks like Clint Eastwood in one of his military roles saying, With all due respect, sir, you are beginning to bore the hell out of me. This one was a GIF as well. I couldn't screen capture, so I screenshot it, and it says, Magic! By the gods, flurfs are not even trying anymore. Where is your proof? So this one is a picture of Gary Cole's character from Office Space, Bill Lumberg, and it reads, Since you're a flat earther and don't plan on backing up the shit you claim, can you just skip to where you parrot F.E. memes while you tell us to think for ourselves? That would be great. If you've never seen Office Space, I highly recommend it. Fact. Three laughing emojis. Does it hurt being such a stupid person, Niraj? A citation for your claims? Any proof to back up your claim the moon is not a physical object? Of course not. Also, you do realize we can still see the moon during its new moon phase, right? This picture is as near as makes no different a new moon and you can still see the dark portion of it. Yes, that is called Earthshine. And this is my absolute favorite moon phase. It disappears once the sun comes out. Moon is not a physical object or you would see the moon before an eclipse as it gets closer to the sun. Definitely can't play golf on moon and drive cars on it. Where's rest of moon when it's full sunshine? And then, of course, the non-understanding of the moon is far away and the atmosphere gets in the way of the moon. Thus, it shows blue where the shadow is. No, no, that's not how it works. The moon is inside the atmosphere, so it's blue behind it. So explain what a solar eclipse actually is then, genius. Flurfs are all about observation. So if it's not the moon we see moving in front of the sun, what is it? Bear in mind that humanity has been able to predict eclipses for thousands of years, Stonehenge being one such instrument. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All those physicists are wrong. I should have known. Our son wasted six years of his life. Should have just read your tweets. You appear proud of your astounding ignorance. Is it true? Hashtag flat earth folks aren't allowed to own telescopes? First thing they would try is to watch the sun and its sunspots. Come on, you're trolling, aren't you? No one is that dumb. 
why do you insist on saying things that are easy to disprove? Why do you want to make yourself look that dumb? <laughs> One of the dumbest comments ever. Try looking through a telescope at the moon and get these ridiculous ideas out of your head. If you're going to try and debunk something, at least put a little bit of effort and research into trying to understand it. You're just making yourself look like an idiot. Stop deceiving your five followers. And here we have a screenshot of the diagram that says not to scale. You fucknut, smack my head, laughter emoji. Are you drunk? It's not even an excuse. I am and still know how shadows work. This is a troll account, right? 